But I can't, in equal time, win a debate. I don't want debate, I want dialogue in the future, sharing ideas. If the minister says, what makes plants grow? If I was able to show him the rays of the sun and then the plant bringing the sap up through the middle and the used sap going down to the outside, if I can show him the anatomy of growth, he says, yes, but what makes that flow that way? Temperature differences and electrical conductivity. How is that generated? And the priest was smart. He said, how do you do that? As the fluids move through the membranes, they generate electric currents. See, if he doesn't know all those things, and he says, yes, but what makes it work? Those that don't work don't exist anymore. There were many plants that didn't work. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know there were many birds that pecked at their young when they were hatched and killed them. That species is gone. You have to show <laughs> that for every advance, inventors so made awesome. thousands of things that didn't work. Mm -hmm. You understand that. Yeah. Artists made terrible drawings before they learned to make better drawings. Jack, can you talk about the experiment you did with birds and the beaks? And the... the beaks? I did talk about. Oh, you did? That yeah. was our... Oh, yeah, long with the, beaks. The with fish the, uh, is good. Putting, so the fit, putting the food in the beaks that, that were moving that Jack did. Oh, no, you didn't no, say you didn't. that one. But the, how you built the automated birds and, the, and they put Oh, them, that yeah. one. A bird so would drop worms into the mouth of the baby birds because mm -hmm. they move a lot like that. Mm -hmm. and, and the bird that didn't move too much didn't get fed. Oh. He kept putting the, word, the worms in the open mouth. So I figured I tried an experiment. I, didn't know low. I made a plastic mouth that moved more mm -hmm. than the real bird, and it kept dropping the worms into the plastic thing. Okay. So birds don't have an instinct to feed their young; they react to a moving open mouth. Okay, yeah. I want to know how does a bird know to feed its young? And there's no bird that says you got to feed young or they'll die. Mm -hmm. What is instinct? I wanted to know what the word was. How does a bird know how to do that? Well, the birds that don't know how to do that are gone. So they don't make this. The birds bring food back. Do they bring food back even when the even when the babies aren't there? They just bring food back. Is that right? No. Or they only do it no, when the, the birds babies bring are food back. Uh, they eat the food, but when they have babies and the babies move and squawk, if they don't feed them, they die out. That species. If they drop worms in. They reproduce them. But do the they bring food back anyway, whether they have birds or whether they have No, little they babies do not bring food back. Only when the babies are and there? They don't even build a nest. They don't even build a nest unless they are pregnant. When no. they're pregnant, internal secretions change their behavior. And that change in behavior is either feeding you young very little or a lot. If you feed them too little, they die. And every bird that hatches pecks at the other birds. And if they're a little weaker, they push them out of the nest. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yeah. Even the birds push their own young out of the nest. Do you know if birds bring their food back yes, to their do. nest, even if there's no babies no, in it? No, they do not. When there's no babies, they don't. Is they that what don't. You're saying? Only no. when there are babies in there? Well, then there's another bird called the butcher bird. It takes things and hangs it on thorn bushes. And they thought that the butcher bird stores food, but you'll find gum wrappers, <laughs> silver foil paper hanging on thorns. They collect all kinds of stuff. Yeah. They don't collect food, but your school books have a propensity to say the butcher bird stores things on thorn bushes, mm -hmm. as though they only store food. So the real job is, is to try to figure out what this hereditary mechanism is. When you said the alligators protect their young, this is true. If you come near baby alligators, the mother will swim over and try to keep you from getting anywhere near its babies. There were alligators that don't do that. They're not around anymore. I feel I don't fully understand the mechanism that drives that. I'm because some would explain. say, oh, that's an instinct to protect the young. No. And that's not I'm good gonna, enough. You I'm going to try to. You know, exactly. Yeah. If I fail, you have to let me know now. Yeah. Some alligators have a tendency to protect all their young and keep them in one place. Some alligators swim around a lot and come back occasionally because they can't count. 
They don't know whether one's missing or three missing. Mm -hmm. Alligators don't concern themselves with that. But they react a certain way. Let's say they don't inspect their young too much. And some respect them a little more. That tribe survives and the others don't. I so there are only minor degrees of protection. And if they're born with more internal flow of a certain secretion and they retain being fed when they were young, they tend to imprint on that. But they don't imp take care of their young because they care. They put them in their mouth and those that injured your young and those that ate their young no longer exist. There are many animals, I don't know if you've ever read about them, that have young offspring and when the bigger animal comes in, they eat their young. So the big animal won't eat their young. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that they do. They eat their young. Are you familiar with that? Animals that eat their young to protect them from the other animals, they say. So they eat them. There's no protection. Women because have a chemical that's secreted when they're pregnant, not all of them, and they feel on cloud nine, and they have appetites for unusual it's things. It's oxytocin, isn't it? Yeah. And what happens, though, yeah. if a woman has a little bit of that, she feels, my God, how come I'm carrying this shit around? If they have more secretion with a baby, they walk a certain way and they feel good. If the women don't have enough of that, they don't reproduce as much. But it always starts with very little feelings uh, of well-being when they're pregnant. Comes and it comes, gets stronger and stronger with the women that keep going and have babies. And women pick up the baby and it smiles and they look at it because the options today are le less. Or if their options are more, if they have lots of options, other than have children, they take a world cruise instead of wipe the baby's ass every day and change the diapers and change to go into the room every time it's screaming and crying and rock it up and back. If they have, they go to the neighbor and say, will you stay with the kids tonight? We'd like to go to a concert. Mm -hmm. Or they hire a person called a babysitter to rock the crib. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there are women that do enjoy being with a baby. And the women that say, Jesus Christ, I haven't been to a concert in years, or I haven't been to a play in years, and they hire people to do that. And some people that are wealthy enough hire a mom to take care of the baby and nurse the baby. Yeah. And so as long as they have no responsibility, the guy has absolutely no responsibility. It's all put on the women. And the women are brought up, how would you like two children, a little boy and a little girl? And the guy's got an ego because the kids represent his name going into the future. I don't give a shit about those things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My kids are the same as any other kids. They're just brought up with a different value system. Mm -hmm. No kid reflects you unless all that they inherit is a shape of the ears and a nose and a head similar, somewhat similar to you. And the guy says, it's a replica. If the child misbehaves, they say, he got that from your mother. Think get that from me, that yelling all the time, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> so men do that, you know, and women do the other thing. And kids whose daddy doesn't like their behavior say, look, daddy, I inherited it from you. Right. He says, no, you're just disobedient, you know. All that. And so people are full of shit. In yeah. the future, <laughs> people will <laughs> raise kids, they're all the same as your own. They're little, they cry, they say, me want that bottle, me want food, or me want that you go in the carriage, you know. But why well, they can't say anything other than that? They're all alive. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know they were children if they suddenly said, I disagree with you. I like proof and evidence. <laughs> you never see that in a child. Right. So I'm saying that the idea that your name will go into the future it's something you brought up with. You see movies of the happy family. I've never seen a movie where the wife has to wipe the baby's ass and change the diapers. They don't show that in the movie. They just show the children playing with the children and the kids laugh, their cute little cheeks. But they don't show, ah, all day, ah, ah, hitting each other, knocking things over. 
and getting food all over the floor. And the mother got the mother gets so tense, especially if they're poor, and she can't feed the kids well, and she can't take them to a doctor every time they're sick. She doesn't have the money, so she said. And her husband's going around on the outside. She's up to here in stress. Sometimes she'll put a pillow over the kid and suffocate it because it's just too much to carry. Can you understand that or not at all? Yeah, no, and sometimes she'll put the kid on the window ledge hoping it'll fall out the window. It's just too much when your husband doesn't own enough, if he's an alcoholic screwing around and you have piles of debt and shit and you kill your kid. If you said to the judge, if you were under that stress, he said, I'd kill my kid sooner. I wouldn't wait that long. If you can see all the stress that people are under that have kids, you can understand that. But a judge said that, how can you take the life of your own children? She can't explain that. She doesn't know why she does it. But I can assure you, more people would kill their kids if they couldn't take care of them. It's the degree of stress. Now, do they love kids? They can't afford to put up with kids that scream and keep them awake all night, especially if the kids need medical attention. They can't provide that. And the husband's out drinking, he's an alcoholic, he can't take care of things. Why does he drink? Because he can say to the boss, fuck you, and everybody associated with the company. Without alcohol, he can't say that. He gets tense. So when he comes home, he says, get out there and cook for me, honey. And she does it, he says, fuck you. When he drinks, he feels released. Mm -hmm. But in the mechanistic society, children will learn how to deal with stress right away when they're very young. It means you're expecting something that didn't occur. Oh yes, that's true. I expect it to work. When I build an airplane, I launch it, I expect it to fly, not to crash. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the kid's hurt. He talks to another kid, he can't convince him. He feels rejected. You know, all that. So when I talk to a person and they reject what I say, I feel I don't know how to get to them. Mm -hmm. That's the proper word. Instead of saying, that son of a bitch, I couldn't get to him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's your expectation that hurt you, yeah. not the world. The world never hurts you. It's your own expectations that hurt you. Do you understand that? Yeah. But if you're brought up that way, it's very different than hearing me speak. I can only get to you in certain areas that are acceptable. There are other areas you wonder about and hold it in advance until you encounter this to be so. I can I can accelerate that process. It's all I can do. But I can't say he's a mechanist now. I can't do that. But in time, you will undergo change much faster than you would have gone before you came here. You'll have a different attitude after human behavior. That's normal for certain people to behave a certain way. You'll understand that real well. Because I don't think people are wise enough yet to use technology intelligently. And I'm sorry about that. Yeah. But you have to deal with the world as it is, not as you'd like it to be. And you have to take people as far as they can go. And I try to find a way, and I talk at the first sessions the same way. I say the same thing to people as they come here. And I give them the same examples, and they work. And now, but at seminars, I go into human behavior, agriculture, mass production of buildings, how to do that. But I don't get a chance to, when a group of new people come over, I usually say the same thing, unless they ask new questions. Mm -hmm and they really can ask a new question. So the reason I say the same thing is because people have the same questions. Yeah. It isn't that I like to say the same thing over again, but I have to tell them that because it works. That system what I found out works. If I find, if I said something, everybody walked out, I'm only wasting my language on my own values. Yeah. I must base it on their values. Mm -hmm. So I use very simple examples. If you were raised in Germany, you'd be a German. They can understand that. It's not that people 
They say the leaders come at the right time, mm -hmm. the way the Lord's got it arranged. Mm -hmm. But conditions are right now yeah. for social change yeah. all over the world. Yeah. So I don't know what you can use in this tape, but there might be some stuff.